This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Trinity House here in Tower Hill for the moment of truth press conference. Fight on that bill. Undefeated professional boxer. O'Hara Davis, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Coog? All right? Yeah, perfect. Well, listen, from uh, York Hall to the O2. Yeah. Moving quickly. This will be your third professional fight. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it? Yep, I am. Um, it's been a big change. It's been a big step, you know. Um, I've got a new coach and, you know, I've got a new team. I've got a new camp and... Um, things are going good in my career now, and um, I've taken the big step, and I'm I'm just moving forward. So, looking forward to what the future holds. Mm. You opened your career with two wins, mm. so why the change? Um, me and my coach couldn't agree on certain stuff, so you know we had to decide to to kind of part ways. It wasn't on bad terms. You know we've left on good terms, but certain things we couldn't agree on, so we just thought it'd be best to part ways. Mm. Tony Sims uh, has got one of the best stables yeah. of fighters uh, in the country and um, obviously he's trained world champions like Darren Barker yeah. and there's uh, obviously Ricky Burns now, Anthony Joshua in the gym. That, that gym must be absolutely buzzing, you yeah. must thrive off it. Yeah, it is. And today, like, the new match gym opens up, so I'm looking forward to see how, to, um, yeah, to see how it looks. And Sims, he's a good coach. I've only done about three or four sessions with him. But I've noticed a big improvement in my fitness and in my speed and in how I'm, and in and in how I spar and how I perform. So I think with Sims, I'll I'll be a, I'll get a big step forward. I'll be taking a big step forward with Sony Sims. Yeah. I interviewed you obviously before you turned professional yeah. and uh, in a very positive, some might say a little bit of a cocky attitude mm. to uh, to uh, the, the boxing world. Now you've had a couple of fights and you're you're in the boxing world. Yeah. As a professional, has your attitude changed or has it got more hungrier? What is it? I'm, I'm even more hungrier, but with, my, but with how I was and how I act, times change and like, I change with time. And so, and so I don't know how I, like, I'm a bit different now than how I was then, but next year I might be even worse or I might be even better. I don't know. I just got to see what happens in my life and see what changes me. Yeah. yeah. I've noticed the difference in the way you're talking. Yeah. Even that was only a few months ago to yeah. now, as it is, you seem a bit also, more. Also, uh, when you change your environment, when you change who you're around, it changes you. And you know, who, you know who, who I was around at the start of my boxing career. I'm around different people now, so how I act is bound to change, and how I think is bound to change, and you know. But um, still destined for greatness. Yeah, still destined for greatness. I'm still going to be world champion. I'm still going to be great. You know, I'm still going to be something big in the sport of boxing. So it don't make a difference. That's good to hear. Here's my business manager, Isaac Brown. Let me see Isaac Brown. Come, come in, on come in. Come in. This is Isaac Brown. He's my business manager. What's happening, so. man? You cool? I'm good, man. From, yeah. from, from, from the, what did we say? From the, from the bottom to the top. Mm -hmm. Ain't no stopping us, man. You know. Legend. We're going to make this happen, man. One way you know, or another. Isaac's really helped me um, in my walk in boxing. So, you know, Isaac, like, he came around me and um, he's really helped me out. And I'm thankful to him. So, he's been there from the start and we're going to be there together till the end. That's good to see, that's good to see. Yeah. Uh, have you spoke about opponents for uh, October 11th yet? I haven't. To be honest, I don't, I don't really mind. You know, if my coach thinks, um, thinks I'm okay to fight them, then I'm okay to, to fight them. But I'm just, at the moment, I'm just like, it don't matter who they, put in, who they put in front of me. I believe I'm good enough to be anyone. You know, I believe I'm good enough like, to be anyone. So that's the last thing in my mind. All I, all I see is I'm going to go there and I'm, I'm, I'm going to win. It's just about how I'm, how I'm going to win. That's the only... Thing I really think about. How's the Robin Deacon situation? <laughs> uh, you know, Robin Deacon, you know. You yeah, Twitter, that's kind of. He's on Twitter yeah. the other day saying um, um, he wishes him the best of luck. So yeah. hmm. that says it all, right? Yeah, you know, that's all calmed down now with the me and the Deacon situation. So I've got no problem with him and he ain't got a, got a problem with me. So that was a. I think that was a thing that was just at the start of my boxing career. Now times have gone and he's got a German license. So he's fighting against Mark Alexander. So we just both kind of moved on in our, um, in our boxing careers. You know, me and him could fight one day, but only time will tell. If we do fight, it'll be a cracking fight. I can promise you that. Yeah, I'm sure the press conference, if there is one for it, would be uh, <laughs> quite sad to watch. It will. All right, well, listen, O'Hara, uh, best of luck with uh, your camp leading up to the 11th of October, and uh, obviously we'll be there, and uh, wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right. All right. Cougan Cassius, O'Hara Davis, IFL TV, thank you very much.